Uh, the instructions say that uh, they should have 100 milliliters each of uh, an acid and a base. I told them on the board that uh, the base is the flag with the blue tape here, and the acid, the unknown acid, is in red. Concentration of the base is up on the board. Uh, the phenolphthalein indicator is in uh, this dropper bottle. Uh, I gave my waste speaker, flask to do the titration in. The instructions say the burette should come filled with water, so they're filled with water right here. And uh, they get two funnels for using to fill the burettes. Uh, the first step on using the burettes is to pour out the water. To be able to get the uh, to be able to get the kind of precision that you want with a burette, you need to make sure that everything that's in the burette is the solution that you're using. So you rinse it a couple of times. So part of the prep is to uh, be sure that the solutions you're using, the burettes are flushed with the solutions you're using. Get the, that's my acid burette. Now I'll get the basement ready. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to rinse out this burette with the base. According to the instructions, uh, they only get 100 milliliters of each, which really should be plenty, 100 milliliters of the base and 100 milliliters of the acid. What I'm going to do now, before I actually start the titration, is I'm going to go ahead and set the volume here to zero. So I'm going to, uh, it doesn't have to be exactly zero, it just needs to be, zero makes it easier for the calculations later on the first run. but. Again, I don't tell the students any of this. They're supposed to know how to, how to do that. So now we've got an acid in this burette with an unknown concentration and a base here with a known concentration. <coughs> the first step is to uh, put about 20 milliliters of acid into the flask. So I'm just going to open up the flat, open up the acid burette, and drain in about 20 milliliters. 
It doesn't have to be exactly 20, but 20 is a good, uh, a good amount. If you use a volume that's very small, like only 5 or 10, you don't get as much accuracy out of the burette. So now I'm going to stop at about 20 and put in a drop of indicator. And we use a phenolphthalein indicator that uh, it only needs one drop. And it's uh, clear when it's acid and it's pink when it's base. And now I need to write down the uh, volume here because that tells me how much acid I put in. Looks like uh, 20.05. the titration. Um, and uh, in this case, uh, I know that, uh, let me move this up a little bit. I know that I'm going to get about, I know my base is about the con same concentration as my acid, so I can get close to 20 here before I have to start being real careful. Now, it doesn't say that in the instructions that you tell the students that, but if they, if they know how to do a titration, uh, that's one of the things you can do is you can watch as you get closer. You'll see if I put in a little, as you get closer to the end point, you see some pink develop, and then it disappears. Okay, it takes longer and longer for the pink to disappear. So now I'm very close. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this burette to just put in a drop every second or so, relatively slowly. It's too fast. And then watch for the pink color. And what I want to do is, when it turns pink, stop and read the volume. see the pink stays around a little bit as each drop hits in there. As you get closer and closer to the end point, it takes longer for the pink to disappear. pink actually disappeared, so I need another drop. The pink should persist, so I need about another drop. So that's the end point, and I can read the volume here. And it looks like 22.20. Uh, uh, volume of the base. 22.20 milliliters. Start at the zero. So it's 22.20. And then knowing the concentration of the acid, I mean, excuse me, knowing the concentration of the base and the volume, I can calculate what should be the concentration of the acid. This counts as one run. The students were supposed to do two runs. And you see, you actually have enough left in the burettes to do another run here. You could put in another 20 milliliters here, and you could get another run done here. 
So they should have plenty to do two runs, and then they can calculate an average and standard deviation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.